So, I had this uh, Taz 4 printer for pretty close to a month now. And so I thought it was time that I did a little uh, video on it, tell you some of the things that I, a few things that I've changed and, and uh, how I'm using it and things like that. It's a great printer. Um, for one thing, I used to use uh, ABS juice on my other printer. I had a printer for three years before this one. Um, I, however, have switched to the glue stick. Everybody talks about this is a jumbo size, so it's big around, so it's easier to, to put on there. Now, what I do is, uh, after three or four prints, I just take a folded up paper towel with a little water on it. I will take the, the glue stick and zigzag across it, and then I will use this to to like blend it in so to get a nice smooth surface. Uh, it doesn't always stick perfectly, but it's pretty good. Okay, next thing. Um, I added a light to mine. That's just a strip that I then hooked up to the fan because I'm printing ABS so I don't need a fan. Um, and I made a magnetic mount, and it's on Thingiverse, if you want to go there, my name on there is Terry Morris. Um, I don't know, it might be T. Morris 9. So that's a, one of the improvements I made. Another one was, um, the little knob down here, this is the bed leveling, the Z. Two things I did to that. One, uh, when you would turn it before, you would turn it and it would kind of turn back a little bit because the spring that's, that they've got on there would hit the plastic and kind of dig in. So you would like turning a spring-loaded item. It would it would turn and then you let go and it would just whoop, turn back. So first thing I did is I took the screw out and put uh, two washers on the bottom and one washer on the top of the spring. That way I can turn it easily now and it will stay wherever I turn it. Second thing I did is I put a little mark on it. Why? Uh, just so that I can see where it is. In other words, if, uh, if I move it for some reason, I can look at it and see how far I've moved it, moved it and where I've moved it to. Okay, next I added a camera. I just uh, basically zip-tied this to the uh, original Taz label here. I ran the wire down in there and off to the side. This is a camera so that I can watch the printer from anywhere. Of course, normally I don't leave with the, cam with the uh, printer on, but the, the nice thing is, is with my iPad or my iPhone, I can be in my bedroom watching TV and keep a tab on the printer at all times. Now, I'm going to build an enclosure for my printer, and uh, one of the things my, my old printer had, I built a very simple enclosure out of PVC pipe. I haven't fully decided what I'm going to do yet, but one of the things is with that one, is when the spool is on the side where they, where they originally put it, it was, it was it was turned 90 degrees over here. It makes it hard to remove with a with a wall here. Plus, it sticks out further than this. So, I took their uh, spool and just turned it, the spool folder, and turned it 90 degrees. And then, of course, I had to I had to move this over to here. This was on this side. Okay, no problem there. Everything works just fine with it like that. It won't get anything. And uh, so that's basically it. Um, I did have one little issue when I first got it. It was making a little bit of noise on this side. This this motor, the Z-axis motor, was making a little bit of a weird noise. And um, it turns out that it was binding up. And what it was, I learned this from Wallace Bot. Um, you can see there's three brass deals on here. What I had to do was remove the screws from the bottom of those and 
use the software to move the z-axis up 10 millimeters or more and then back down 10 millimeters or more and then put the screws in but the trick is to leave the screws loose basically just barely finger tight and that got rid of the the whole problem there um, so that's basically it it's been a great printer so far um, when I do the, the blue, the, the, yeah, or purple, I should say, the purple blue from Elmer's, let's see if I can get that on there, so make sure get the right one, disappearing purple blue stick from Elmer's, when you use it and the bed cools down, it pops off pretty good. But this is my other secret weapon. This is a painter's palette knife, and it's thin, very flexible. I actually did a video on just this. And uh, it's it's very, very flexible. You can't really bend it easily. And you can put it down on the surface and then press. And then go like that and get under your piece and you can just like wiggle it back and forth and move it around to pry a piece off. Um, that has helped me immensely. Uh, and by the way, you can get those on eBay. So anyway, that is uh, about it. I, I love this printer so far. Took a little getting used to for my old one, but it's definitely a much better printer. And again, it's a Taz 4 from Low Spot. And uh, so that's all. If you uh, got anything out of this video or you liked it, please... Uh, Give it the thumbs up there and subscribe if you want. Thank you very much.